Hello friends, foes, other watchers on the internet, my name is Matt, you're watching Hogwash Gaming, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, it's going to be a unboxing, because people need endorphins and stuff that get released when, uh, when you open a box, apparently. I mean, that's why it's popular, I guess. It, it's some sort of, like, a druggish, like, spike of hormones or something that makes you feel accomplished because you found out what's inside a box. And uh, we're gonna do Monopoly! And I've had this copy for a few years. My friends gave it to me uh, for Christmas. Uh, they didn't know what to do with it because they already had a copy of Monopoly and they said, hey, here's, here's a copy of Monopoly. So it's sat unopened in my closet for a while. But we're going to change all that. We are going to cut into this baby and we will see what's inside. Evidently, there's a the what used to be a cat. The new cat. The cat's number one voted new token thing. Yeah. I'm really eloquent today. So before we open this, let's see when it was printed because we have a uh, you know, Monopoly has like hundreds and hundreds of copies and they've been coming out for oh for as long as board games have been a thing it feels like but um yeah I don't think they were playing this in ancient Egypt so uh, I can look up some some monopoly facts and I can put them up possibly here or something um maybe I'll maybe I'll do that okay so this the more the most recent number I can find is 2013 so, um, that's when this came out, I assume. Um, oh, look at this. Uh, 1935. That's when, uh, the game was copywritten. Um, I will be honest, Monopoly isn't my favorite game in the world. Actually, I enjoy the Lord of the Rings copy better. Um, because it actually has a timing element, and once the time runs out, then the game's over. Opposed to this, which just goes and goes and goes. There might be new rules, though, so we'll take a look at that. Maybe I'll make a video on how to play Monopoly. Um, but like I said, there's so many versions. I don't know uh, how how relevant that will be in the coming years. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so let's stop talking and start slicing. Alright, so we're going to take our X-Acto knife. And we're going to just slice that plastic right there and kind of follow the thing. We're not pushing too hard because I don't want to scratch the box. Uh, all right. So let's, let's see if that did anything. Nope. Oh, no. I'm going to pop this back on. I think we're done with the knife for a while anyway. All right. How is that centered? Yep, that's good. Okay. So we'll take the plastic off. Goodbye, cat sticker. I, I should uh, I should just put that there just to make it happy. Also, it says um, watch the Hub TV network. I have no idea what that is. It's probably either really big and I'm just disconnected with, from culture, or it's something that they tried to make popular and it didn't happen. All right. Well, let's uh, take a look. See. All right. So the box is a little lighter than I I would come to expect from such a prestigious game, but uh there it is. All right. Now, what do we got here? We've got the rules. <laughs> 3D imagery making everything better, otherwise known as how to age things. Yeah, I like the um I like the cartoon guy better, but, uh, you know, 3D animation's got to go somewhere. You know, got to give those college students something to do. Alright. Yeah, what do we got here? Okay, so we have, like, frequently asked questions. That's interesting. Um, it doesn't look like there's much to this. Um, uh, not much in the way of pieces. Um... Actually, it looks like this is missing a few. Like the iron. Yeah. I'm going to have to look this up and see uh, which uh, items they've they've replaced. Because they've got the cat, and they got the dog, and they got the wheelbarrow, and the boat, and the thimble, and the shoe, 
and the hat and the car, but I'm sure there was an iron in there. Maybe it was one of those things I remember hearing back in the day when people were voting for which ones to, uh, to get rid of, and I thought that was stupid. But apparently they did it. Uh. And then we've got a third die. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, but it has a, a kind of bus symbol or something in there. Um, we'll have to figure out what that's for. Um, okay, we've got the houses and the hotels. There's a fair few amount of those. I don't know if you want me to cut open this bag or not. I'm not, I'm not in a super hurry to, to get all of these pieces everywhere. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably open this one. But this one, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off. Alright, now we've got the property cards. And this looks like community chess cards as well. And there's probably chance cards in there. All right, let's see what we've got. All right. So this gold thing is supposed to make it easier to open. But it's not, so there we go. I feel like I'm opening a thing of magic cards. Hmm. Yeah, there are your basic uh, property cards. Um, now, here's, here's an interesting uh, little tidbit. When I was growing up, I didn't have these cards. I'm not familiar with these places. And that's because I would play the British version of Monopoly. And um, it had a ton of uh, stuff from London. And uh, it's not because it was like, Oh, I'm a tourist. I'm going to do this. No, we, we bought the actual like British version. Like, I would go on holiday or vacation or whatever you want to call it, and we would go to Wales, and the Welsh um, hostel that we stayed in had a set of Monopoly, and it was the British version of Monopoly, and every time we went, there was a kid, I don't know if he lived at this hostel or whatnot, um, but but he he was always there when I was there, and we would always play Monopoly, and it was really great. So this game has a lot of history with me, just not the American version. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not super used to all of these. Uh, but, but uh, you know, I know what Boardwalk is the, the most, uh, most uh, expensive thing. I think it was, uh, is it Mayfield in the English version? I can't remember. But anyway, so there's that. And then this one's my favorite, Reading Railroad. It's actually Reading, I think, but I always would start singing, Butterfly in the sky, and copyright. Anyway, Pennsylvania Railroad, B&O, and Short Line. So those are the railroads, and then, of course you got the electric company, and I don't know their theme song as well as I know Reading Ram Rambo. Yeah, Reading Rambo, Reading Rainbow, there we go. And Waterworks. Oh, and let's see here, we've got the chance cards right. and uh, it'd be really nice if they said chance on them uh, community chest is is easy to f figure out because it's got a chest on there but chance it's a question mark not nah, you know um, yeah I like I like the cartoon guy better than the, the 3d thing I, I'm not sure if that's just me being nitpicky probably is. I'm an old fogey. I'm, I'm a millennial. Dang it! And these aren't what I remember growing up with. All right. It's okay though. It's okay. No, I mean this. It's a Monopoly set, and we'll look at the board in a minute. Um, all right. So we'll put those there. And the money doesn't seem to have changed much. I'll get the knife for this. This seems pretty well wrapped. So we'll uh, get this on screen so you guys can see me cut through the plastic. See how I do that? That's great. ASMR and all that will make it all nice and dandy for you. All right. Come on. Just filed my nails, so I don't have the grip that I had 15 minutes ago. There we go. Yeah, feels the same as always. 
It's a little stiffer because it's brand new. And my furnace just turned on, so of course it's probably going to get picked up on the microphones. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then a little cardboard piece to keep it all stiff. True. Throw that away. Nice. Yeah. Now, when my brothers and I would play this, and my sister, I, I don't remember honestly playing much with my sister, but what we would do is we wouldn't bother with the ones and the fives. We thought that was a waste of time. It's like dealing in pennies. What, what, what's a one gonna do ya? So we would always round up to the nearest five. And sometimes if we were feeling really lazy, we'd round up to the nearest ten. You know, just because we were lazy and we didn't like counting out ones and, and dealing with ones, it was chump change. We were monopolistic barons. We didn't deal with one dollar bills. Lame. Alright, so that goes there. Um, I'll get that knife again. And we'll, we'll see how these, uh, these, uh, little tokens are. Now, from what I understand, when this game was invented, uh, the guy for pieces just kind of took what he had around the house, and one of them was a thimble. So the thimble, I think, is the oldest token in the game, uh, because that was just something that he had around the house. Of course, uh, the race car and the boat Oh, the cannon! The cannon is something else that that we had growing up. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it was a plow, but we always called it a cannon. Um, yeah, so... So they've cut down a bit. Let's look at this uh, fancy-dancy new cat. Is this worthy of Mordor? I don't know. Yeah. He's nice. He's a nice cat. I mean, if you've got a dog, you know, Scottish Terrier, woof, woof, then I guess you, you better have a cat as well. Um, you know, and then the toy boat, and the car, and the boot, and the wheelbarrow. Interesting. All right. So we'll throw those guys in there. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut this open and take a look at these dice. I mean, the dice are pretty pretty standard except for this red one. So uh, let's let's see what we got. Hmm, it's got a Monopoly Man on it and it has a bus on it. Monopoly Man, bus, Monopoly Man. And then it's got one, two, and three. Interesting. So they made a D3 out of, out of a D6. Interesting. And these, uh, these dice are a little, like, artificially aged. You know, they're put, I guess they're going for that old ivory look, opposed to just white and black. It's, I don't know if it's showing up, but that's, that's an off-white. Um, do I have anything that's white, white? Oh, I've got a mason jar. Let me take the lid off this mason jar and you can kind of see. Uh, that's, that's a pretty dirty mason jar, never mind. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so, dice. I'm gonna look up what this is for, because this is, uh... Um... Yeah, this is, this is different. Alright. Like I said, I'm not gonna take all these out. It, they're nice and contained there. I'm not gonna be playing right now. Um, let's, let's look up what this does. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Advanced. For a faster game, use the speed dice and follow the steps. Each player start with an extra thousand to start. Once you have passed go for the first time, roll the speed die with every two white dice at return. Add this to your roll. Um, if it's a bus, choose to move using just one of the white dice, or count both. So, if you roll one and five, you can move one, five, or six. 
Interesting. Mr. Monopoly, use the white dice as normal. Then, at the end of your turn, go to the next unowned un property space and buy it and put it up for auction. Or put it up for auction. If all are owned, go to the next property, not yours, and pay rent. Um, the speed dice doesn't count towards rolling doubles. If you roll three of a kind, you can move your token to any space on the board. If you are sent to jail during your move, ignore speed dice. Your, end, your turn ends. Don't use the speed die when attempting to get out of jail. Roll all three dice to determine the rent for a utility. The bus and Mr. Monopoly don't count. Whew. Okay. Interesting. So, I guess this speeds up the game a little, but I, I still like the timer aspect of the Lord of the Rings one. Um, but this, this definitely would speed up the game, I guess. Anyway. Okay, so... Now that we've figured out the little components, and, uh, and yeah, we've got, um, we've got a few of the, the things here. One, one thing that caught, caught my eye is, may I make up my own rules? And it says, no. Well, you can have house rules, and I know many of you do, but if you want to be the world champion, and anyone can, you know, except me, of course, then you have to play by the official rules, and the game is quicker. Okay, I, d I don't know about that, but yeah, so let's uh, let's cut to the chase and look at the board. See how fancy the board is. I'm gonna throw this garbage away first. All right, open her up. Okay, pretty basic. Um, <laughs> obviously it's a little new. It's it's really warpy. <laughs> You're gonna have to like lay it out flat and heavy and and uh, get that all flattened out. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's it's new. It'll have to be broken in. Um, but I have noticed in newer versions of board games. They like to fold them up in quarters, so they're smaller. I guess that makes sense, but I don't know. It gives it this problem when you first get a game. It's, it's very, very bouncy. Something that, uh, you know, you might not want in a board game. But, yeah, so, this is Monopoly. And, uh... Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with with it as far as um, the shape it's in for not being opened in a while. Um, I mean, Monopoly has never been my favorite game, but now that I've opened it, I can show you guys how to, how it's played. And um, yeah, if you would like that, leave a like or leave a comment, and I will catch you next time. This is Hogwash, over and out.